I love jumping in with whale sharks, but it can be intimidating. They're the biggest fish in the sea. They're as big as a bus. And to have such a huge creature come at you out of the deep blue, it sort of does take your breath away. Marine conservationist Brad Norman has been coming to Ningaloo for over 25 years to study this endangered species. I've swum with whale sharks on thousands of occasions, but I still get a buzz every time I go out. Whale sharks are a gentle giant. They're the biggest fish in the sea, but they're actually not dangerous. They feed on very, very small organisms. Whale sharks are in danger due to human activity with populations estimated to have dropped more than 50% in the past 75 years, according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Norman says the biggest threats are fishing, habitat destruction, and climate change. Climate change can have a dramatic effect on the prey of whale sharks. It can change water temperatures, and it can change currents, and it can change areas that um, whale sharks might normally move to to feed. The turquoise waters of this Western Australian nature reserve are where Norman first fell in love with the ocean. Rottnest Island has a long history in my life. We used to come here on our school holidays, and it was here that I got to swim and snorkel in this beautiful environment. And that really encouraged me to want to go down the path of being a marine biologist. Norman has made public awareness key to his research, helping found a photo identification program for whale sharks that maps their global hotspots and migrations, with submissions from over 10,000 people in more than 50 countries. Well, we're starting to find out areas of critical importance to whale sharks, where they're traveling to for important aspects of their life. Whale sharks are covered in a pattern, a beautiful pattern of, of lines and spots. But how do we compare one pattern of spots against another? So we adapted an algorithm that NASA scientists use in the Hubble Space Telescope to map stars in the night sky. And we map the pattern of spots on the skin of a whale shark and then, like fingerprint recognition, scan that photo against the thousands of other photos. And if it's a match, it's the same shark. The Wild Book for Whale Sharks is an online database that um, encourages members of the public to be citizen scientists. If they get to see a whale shark and they swim with one, to take a photo of the special ID area which is behind the gills, send it into the Wild Book. Well, as we find more about these animals, it's going to help us work out um, systems and, and uh, ways to protect them in the long term. This type of crowdsourced data is vital to whale shark conservation, says Norman. And through responsible ecotourism in places like Ningaloo, it can introduce the public to new ways of helping these gentle giants. Over the last few years, the, um, the numbers of, of sightings that are coming in is, is increasing all the time. It's so important to have members of the public assisting with our project. By taking a photograph and helping us with our research, we can all work together to save this species.